Robert Woodrow Wilson is being honored this year with the Science and Technology Medal. Dr. Wilson shared in the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978 for his discovery of cosmic microwave radiation. Dr. Wilson graduated with honors from Rice University with a degree in physics. He then went on to get his PhD at Caltech, where he focused on radio astronomy. While at Caltech and under the tutelage of John Bolton, Dr. Wilson assisted in setting up the Owens Valley Radio Observatory and developing a galactic survey of part of the Milky Way, a project which would later serve as the basis for his thesis. At the observatory, Wilson had the privilege of establishing relationships with many faculty and students, including V. Radhakrishram, or RAD. In 1961, Dr. H. E. Derek Scoville at Bell Labs offered to help Wilson and RAD make a pair of traveling wave maser amplifiers for the interferometer. RAD accepted the opportunity and went to Bell Labs to make masers, while Wilson stayed at Caltech to finish his degree. Two years later, it was this offer that persuaded Wilson to join Bell Labs in Holmdel, New Jersey. As part of Arthur B. Crawford's radio research department in R. Kompner's laboratory at Bell Labs, Wilson started working with the only other radio astronomer, Arno Penzias. It was Penzias and Wilson who would later share in a Nobel Prize award. In the early 1960s, Congress created ComSat, a federally funded corporation created with the goal of developing a commercial and international satellite communication system press. This legislation led to the reduction of Bell System satellite efforts and related space research, including downsizing to only one full-time researcher for this subject. Wilson and Penzias agreed to instead both work half-time on this topic and take on other projects. This decision would certainly prove more than wise. In 1969, Penzias suggested that he and Wilson start doing millimeter wave astronomy. They took the low noise millimeter wave receivers which had been developed at Crawford Hill by C.A. Burris and W.M. Sharpless for a waveguide communication system and made an astronomical receiver with them. Their observations began in 1969 with a continuum receiver. The next year, K.B. Jefferts joined them and with much help from C.A. Burris at Crawford Hill and S. Weinreb at National Radio Astronomy Observatory, they made a spectral line receiver at 100 to 120 gigahertz. Using this sophisticated equipment, Wilson and Penzias discovered that a faint signal pervaded all space. Because the signal was so faint and pervasive, they felt the noise could have any one of a number of sources. Systematically, they eliminated the possibilities until they were sure that the entire universe itself was the source. This noise or cosmic background radiation was one of the most important discoveries in cosmology. This was a fundamental breakthrough in understanding the origin of the universe. And for this, Penzias and Wilson were rewarded with the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physics. The Research and Development Council of New Jersey is proud to recognize Robert Woodrow Wilson with the Science and Technology Medal.